I'm here with Paul Rudy, a professor of composition at UMKC, who's going to be participating in this year's 2018 composition workshop. Hello, Paul. Hey, Michael. So, uh, Paul's going to answer a couple questions for us today. So, um, as part of what Paul's doing at the workshop is uh, coaching several improvisation sessions. And I was wondering, Paul, if you could tell me, um, why do you think improvisation is important for composers? Well, uh, it sort of goes to my fundamental belief about composers is that um, we what we do is practice sonic imagination mm -hmm. and I find that doing improvisation is actually doing that in real time as opposed to working trying to work it out in your head and then making it happen on paper and then letting someone else make it really happen improvisation is a way to explore that in real time and it, so to me, it's like ear training practice, it's sonic imagination practice, and it's, it's really great for basic musicianship in terms of building your listening skills. And the, the deeper philosophical reason I, I like to do it and like to facilitate it, and I think students really resonate with it, is the uh, notion of creating music and community. It's a really hot thing right now in humanity as it should be doing things together where everyone is equal partners you know in the in the traditional music paradigm the composer is uh, the king for example and the uh, conductor is the chancellor and the musicians are the court and the audience is like the peasants you know and Improvisation, I find, really turns that on its head, right? I don't want to be the king anymore. I don't want to be the king composer. I don't want that responsibility. It's not that interesting to me, even. Um, what's really interesting is when you have a group of people come together and agree that they're going to make music together, that they're going to listen deeply to each other and respond responsibly, right? That's what respond responsible means. It means the ability to respond in ways that the whole group benefits from. And that, that doesn't mean it's, all, it's always gonna be pretty, it doesn't always mean it's gonna work, but what that means is each person is gonna be responsible to the whole group for whatever they do. And I've seen some amazing things happen because of that. Um, students begin to self-edit and self-critique. I don't have, as a facilitator, I don't have to do that anymore. I rarely do I have to say, you know, why did you do that? Did, I didn't like that, you know. I can, I can give my preferences, but most, most often students are like, yeah, you know, I tried this thing, I threw the chair across the room and did it for this musical reason, but it really didn't work the way I thought it was going to. And guess what? They don't, they never do it again. Or if they do it again, they do it with more musicality or something. And I just, I think as composers, you can't get better training than 